Well, hello there. You may see a uh, background, but the PC we have is an actually can't run Skyrim. That's just. Uh, but anyway, I play it on the PS3. I've been doing so the Legendary Edition. I just discovered the game in uh, June of last year, and then like a few days after I got the first copy, I found out there's a Legendary Edition. So it's, I don't know why the guy selling it didn't tell me that, but whatever. So anyway, fast forward a couple months, my birthday, I got this off Amazon along with a couple other things I was getting, but this was I think like $17.99 in free shipping at the time, whatever. But uh, I think we had a Prime trial or something. This is a Legendary Edition paperback guide. This is also, which I haven't opened it up, a one-sided, so like, it's like a pretty big uh, um, map of the entire uh, country of Skyrim. And various, various things. Also, one cool thing that came with it was you get a bonus e-guide, which I haven't used a whole lot. I uh, either usually use this guide or you can look up the stuff on YouTube or just Google whatever. Um, but if you want the e-guide, which, um, yeah, you can do that too. So, which is essentially, you have this and then you can look at it online. Now, if you can get the hardcover edition of that, um, legendary edition, that's amazing. But when I bought this used, it was like over $65. Brand new, I don't know. Um, I also have Oblivion, which I actually haven't played that much yet because I'm so stuck on Skyrim. I'm kind of at about 300 hours, um, 280-ish, 290-ish. And anyways, before I forget, so uh, a week or so ago, I sent out a number of, uh, a few days ago, actually, negative tweets about Bethesda. Why are you doing this? Why is Skyrim freezing on a PS3? Why do you get, what if I get Fallout 4 and it does the same thing? Um, I'm sure they get probably tens of thousands of tweets like that all the time, so nobody ever replied to any of mine, I guess they care, you know, um, or, uh, whatever, right? What are you going to do? But then I, you know, okay, well, let me at least try to do some more research, try to think about what I can do. So I read some more into it, and I read, uh... There was a video on YouTube about uh, Skyrim is still a hot mess or something like that from 2012. And uh, the last patch, one of the patches didn't fix this, didn't fix that. And, uh, and one of the comments was like, well, Skyrim works fine on the PS3 for me. So then I started reading different things and doing this and that. And um, the common thing I found was it said uninstall the game and reinstall the game. Or say, uninstall everything, re uh Re, you know, or re, uh, reset your system to factory settings, uh, save your save file on a USB. Uh, I mean, it was from just a, it's completely ridiculous that even if you're, you were extremely technically adept, which I'm, you know, I can use a console, I could use a PC. I don't, I've never built a PC, but I'm, I could probably watch a video and do it. I mean, it would take me a while with like somebody who knows how to do it and if you do it in 20 minutes it might take me two days but I, it would work and you know, this and that but anyway so uh, I thought that you know because I really miss playing Skyrim even though I have you know the, the Xbox One and all that it's still you know this is a game that I mean I still haven't completed the main storyline I just finished the Storm Quest uh, uh, st Storm Cloak storyline and so much to do on it. Um, a little bit nutty about cats. If you uh, it's really do need all these cats, if you didn't see that already. Also, um, a little Halloween thing. I know it's out of season now, but so when I discovered this game and that I could be a cat or Kaji, you gotta be kidding me. Why didn't I know this sooner? And I just, you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, so putting so much time and effort into this game and then I got to the point where last like week or so uh, prior to me complaining it was just freezing 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 and actually prior to that it was a couple times where you no know, but then I came back to it and it did the same thing so I thought oh what can I do so what I did was there was um, a 
couple things, a number of things I deleted off the PS3. Um, when you watch a Blu-ray movie on it, it'll store temporary data. And it just stays there. It doesn't hurt anything, but I guess like so when you watch the movie again, it loads faster, whatever. I deleted all of those. Um, also, there's a, I don't even know who uses it, what the purpose of it is, PlayStation at home. I deleted all of that. Garbage, useless. It's, you know, you can go in there and it's a pretend world and you can buy stuff and... I mean, I would just play Second Life, or I would play World of Warcraft, or I would play EverQuest, or PlayStation at home, it's like, come on. It's... Anyway, so I deleted that. Um, I deleted, I think, all my apps. I'm going to try to reinstall Netflix and YouTube, because I was, uh, I moved the uh, Xbox One to another room, so I'm going to hopefully not have any problems with just putting those two back on there. But, um... I also went through and all there's a bunch of games that I, I had gotten rid of that all the old save files and data files were under. I deleted all of that. Um, I also deleted um, all of my um, Skyrim. Uh, I deleted the Skyrim uh, game file from, uh, from the disk from the installation and the installation from the DLC because I got the Legendary Edition. So it comes with. Um, Dawn Guard, Hearth, Fire, Dragonborn are already on here. So there's like, when you put it in, it's one disc, but it shows like two disc images on the screen, right? So I, I deleted both of those sets of information. Um, and there was um, a couple other, anything Skyrim related, for, uh, uh, disc data utility, um, game utility, game state, deleted everything Skyrim related. I deleted, I had like probably about five save files. I deleted all of them except for my most recent. I left that one on there. So basically I took off everything I could think of. Um, maybe not. Maybe it was not related, maybe it was. I don't know. Anyways, did all that. And then, okay, so I'm going to put Skyrim back in, reinstall it, reinstalled it. And then I reinstalled the DLC. And then... Um, after that, then I go and you know, I'll uh, install the game. Then, excuse me, I had to go back to the menu and then reinstall the DLC. And then after that, started the game back up and uh, then loaded the most recent save file and it played fine. Um, the only thing that I noticed, and I don't know if it was related to me having to get everything to get Skyrim to run again was that my follower, I think he got killed, or he might have disappeared um, somewhere in there. But everything else was okay with the file. Um, and it kind of sucks, because he was like, <laughs> uh, you know, awesome fighter. But every fire follower, even Lydia, I still never, I don't know what happened to her. Um, you know, everyone I've had in there just is gone at some point. So right now I got the house Carl and Winhelm. And then there's some other places. Uh let's see if I can open this up real quick. Uh, if I can get this uh thing to work here. Come on, baby. Um yeah, a few other places. Lakeview Manor, I still have Lakeview Manor, but then I moved, uh, and then I adopted two kids, I moved them to, um, Harum, Harum, whatever, and went home because, uh, when I, when I went, finally went back to Lakeview Manor, there was three bandits trying to kill them, so, moved them out of there, and I, you know, get some more houses and stuff, eventually I'll finish the main quest, right now I'm worried about le leveling up, I think I'm 72 now, don't ask me to tell you where all my smithing and everything's at, I can, um, make a, another video and probably will make another Skyrim video and just uh yeah okay you know I can um point it at the screen even and go through everything whatever but I just wanted to make a video talking about uh mainly what I did for uh, just taking all that stuff off and it, it worked and it was like yes I can play Skyrim again and uh, continue to do all these things in the game and I mean it's just I don't understand why they haven't made it backwards compatible on the Xbox One, but what they also recently did was, 
uh, Red Dead Redemption was like it's on Xbox One backwards compatible, and then like less than 24 hours later, or a little over a day later, whatever, it's not backwards compatible. So um, part of the issue is that the publisher of these games, Bethesda or whoever it is, in this case it's Bethesda, um, may not release the rights for whatever reason for it to be played on the other system because they, um, you know, want royalties for. Park. Yeah, you know, there's all kinds of things like that, so what not, right? But, uh, and, uh, I don't know, you know, I know Elder Scrolls 6, uh, there's a lot of speculation on that. I think we'll probably see it maybe if we're lucky, 2019. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, I haven't played it. Uh, anybody I've talked to about it, anything I've seen about it, uh, it's nothing but negatives. In theory, if it was a true free MMO and it didn't have that $15 a month premium option, yeah, maybe you could, you know, give it some credence, but that, I don't know. It just seems to, the feeling from a lot of people out there is that it was just a money grab and, yeah, I haven't heard that many good things about it. Having said that, I haven't played it, but I don't really plan to play it <laughs> for two reasons, uh, or three, well, you know. I'm, I mean, just Skyrim alone is just so amazing. I still haven't played Oblivion. Um, and, uh, Xbox One. And then I can always go back to Soul Calibur 4, Soul Calibur 2. There's a couple, uh, Soul Calibur 5. There's, you know, games to, so, um, Elder Scrolls Online? No, I don't think so. But I'm looking forward to, if it's, you know, uh, 2019 or whatever, Elder Scrolls 6. Hopefully they're going to include elsewhere in the game. Uh, maybe like Elsewhere, Black Marsh, Vanillawood, Somerset Isle, just, you know, meld that bottom part of uh, Tamriel and be done with Tamriel. However, from everything I've read, well, I'm probably mispronouncing this, but Akavir, Akavar, or Akvar, whatever, however you say it, extremely violent content, much more violent than, um, <laughs> if it can be, than Skyrim, makes Skyrim look like a Holiday Inn Express. Um, uh, most of the humans, or all of the humans, I think, have been either eaten or killed. Um, I think that's how the lore goes by the creatures and monsters there. So while it would be cool to have different races, um, I don't know, for me, i got to at least have the option of being a catchy. I mean, I could see at some point maybe I'll start another game in Skyrim. Maybe I'll try out a Nord or Argonian or whatever. But I want the catchy option there. And that's the one thing that concerns me about it, th that other possible location that Kedjis wouldn't exist there, therefore I wouldn't. So um, I had no issues with it being on the continent of Akvar, but I want the other races to be there. And it could be like maybe a warring continent and there's, you know, pockets of this race and that race. And it's just, if that's how they're going to do it, which would kind of be like, I mean, basically just a lot of conflict is what Elder Scrolls Online, and then you get to um, Skyrim, but you don't really get to see the rest of it. And so the top part is pretty much, and Cy Cy Cyrodiil has been pretty much covered, so you just have the bottom part anyway. So why not just do Elder Scrolls 6 with that? And then if you're going to go to Akbar or whatever, or supposed to explore the rest of the planet, and it's fictional so you can create oh we just discovered this place over here on the other side of um, Tamriel and so on so you can they can spin it however they want to spin it but it'd be nice if they would make at least one more effect that bottom part of Tamriel on there um, you know Black Marsh uh, elsewhere Malawood Somerset Isles whatever um, because and this is what somebody was yeah Somerset Isles has it wasn't in Oblivion, it was Shivering Isles. So just to um that's uh, Ob Oblivion uh I haven't played much yet because of this game. But anyway. So uh yeah, they could like do that bottom portion of Tamriel, which would that would in stuff you're talking Black Marsh, that you know, Battle Woods, uh Somerset Isles, I mean that, that would be uh, yeah. I would finish off Tamriel, and then they could, uh, you know, on the next 
it, it, yeah, it would be the next generation of consoles, or like very, depending on how long this generation lasts, it'd be like very, very late in the life cycle of the consoles, like um, the last year, or within the same year of the next console coming out. Yeah, so it'd be extremely late in the console life cycle, or it'd be a launch title for the next console, or whatever. But we wouldn't see, I don't know, to go from Tamriel to, to Aqua or whatever it would be. Yeah, it'd be way, way, um, five, it'd, it'd be like five to ten years later before they would do another one after that. But that bottom part of Tamriel would be, yeah, it'd be so cool. But, love Skyrim, love what I've learned about the Elder Scrolls, just, I mean, just, just, this alone, I mean, and that's on the PS3 and the way it's run and everything, but with the, you know, the, without getting into which is better, and the PS4 has better specs, but I don't know, there's different things I like about the PS3, there's different things I like, you know, about the Xbox One, so I, potato, potato. Um, but, you know, the Xbox One, you can plug in a hard drive, at least two external hard drives, PS4, you gotta crack that open and put another one in, and you know, so what are you gonna do? But, uh, anyways, the PS4 and Xbox One could easily run, they can run Elder Scrolls 6, no problem. We're not gonna have those issues with it, uh, as well as, you know, obviously, anybody who's playing it on a PC is gonna have it as cap a PC that's capable, likely, anyway, so, um, um, yeah, and, uh, but it was a good to uh, finally be able to play Skyrim again and be interested in to see how many hours you have logged in, what are your favorite locations. The um, uh, main thing I'm doing right now is leveling up my smithing, my enchanting, and my alchemy and just trying to make some um, just insane weapons and then go on from there. And then I got the uh, Alden, or Alden, whatever, that dragon guy thing. The big dragon boss for you on Um made it him, and I couldn't quite um, attack him. And he was moving around too much. And then somebody was like, well, "Why don't you just make a weapon or an arrow or this or that?" And I'm still kind of way down on the smithing and alchemy and enchanting. So I'm working on building all those up, as well as doing other quests and doing other things within the game too. That's like, well, yeah be doing these other things and I can come back to that that's just because it's the the main quest I mean it's, it's so amazing so that's what I'm doing now and I'm really really um, right now excited about that I can play that again as well as you know my other games but yeah so uh it was a relief and I you know you know comments below or anything uh anybody else had problems with Skyrim let me know you know I can comment back let you know how to fix your issue or how you fixed your issue and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, good or bad, and I'll see you again.